So yeah, this is a picture right here. Um, this is actually my 25th birthday party. A lot of the homies came through, but uh, good girl PR, my homegirl Nikki, she's she still doing her thing. So shout out to you and my Brody Blind, and they set me up a last minute 25th birthday party in New York, bro. That shit was clapping. I swear on life it was, bro. But anyway, the story ain't from that though. So uh, this is about me and Vince, right? So me and Vince, that's my dog, man. Like we got along off top. Both of us Aquarius, right? He an Aquarian like me, so he put up to the party. I was drinking that green shit right there, and uh, but he kept, you know, throwing me the whiskey. So that was our thing, you know. what I'm saying we, me and him was like on oh, the whiskey brothers, some shit like that. So, all right, this is another night. So we, we driving to um, want to say Jersey Girls, man. He picked me up in Edgewater and shit, River Road, bro. We driving down the joint, and Vince was just, you know, Vince funny and shit. So he started telling me about all the little famous chicks. I, I asked him like, yo, what, what famous joints you smash, bro? I was curious and shit. So he started running down the list. I'm like, damn, you smash her and her, bro. He like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn, nigga. All right, shit. So we uh, we end up getting the Jersey Girls. This nigga Joe Buttons in there. This nigga Joe Buttons in there. I'm like, Joey, what's goody, my nigga? I used to fuck with Joe Buttons and uh, Marcus Williams and the niggas and them all. Back when the niggas was cool. I used to go to Marcus Williams' crib and shit. Niggas be playing the game over there. Joey, Joey was cool. That was the homie. Yeah, Joey, cool nigga. But anyway, yeah, he was a Sin City with your hairy thick ass, right? So me and Vince, we get the little room in the back. We just smashing whiskey. Smashing whiskey. We had this little thing we used to do with each other, like whenever we was ready for another drink, we do some shit like this. Like. And that's how it was like the cue to like pull back up. We like, nigga, your cup empty. All right, so long story short, man, we have a good ass time at Jersey Girls. That shit was slizz zapping, right? I know I bagged something out of there. B did for sure. We ended up going separate ways though. I got a little room over there, bro. I had this little honeymoon suite right by the strip club, bro. So anyway, the next day we playing, I want to say the Bobcats, bro. I want to say the Bobcats. The crazy part is we both was killing that game. I got in. I just nigga Frank put me in and shit. I'm like, oh, damn, this nigga Lawrence Frank throw me in the game. So uh, he put me in. Very first play. Um, I want to say the Bobcats. Don't don't call me on that. But anyway, I remember sliding, beating this nigga to the spot. Took a charge. Boom. Charge. Boom. Momentum. And then uh, this nigga Vince came down. You know, just jamming on niggas. I'm hitting shots, getting buckets. But the thing is, it's levels to this shit. So it's like, niggas tried that shit again. Oh, let's go out again, my nigga. Shit, we out, nigga. We go to New York, go out of shit, party. Noon game. Niggas was trash. I'm just like, damn. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that shit used to deceive me, man. I used to always get like, I used to sometimes get fried before games. I had my best games. It had happened like two or three games in a row. I'm like, oh, hell yeah, nigga. I'm on my AI shit, nigga. We can fry before games. And then, and you know, so you know, nigga, you get sit down for D-League, nigga. <laughs> for four, five, six games, nigga. 